Welcome back, everybody. All right, let's look around this place. Oh, I'd give a lot to be able to read these books, but I'm sure only students are allowed to do that. Hang on. Some kind of mini kitchen. There's a lot of weird ingredients that could be used for the pot. Could I maybe just one? No. But I... Just for pupils. Maybe. Maybe it's been written on using magic chalk. It's blank. But it could have been written on using magic chalk. A stylish blackboard for a mage school. It is alive. Really? Yes. And covered in magical chalk. I knew it! What is that? A mirror? I can only see myself in it faintly. The frame is quite heavy and decorated with all sorts of faces and skulls. I've never seen anything like it. The frame is... I've... I wonder how many humans once trained to become mages here. Three. Do, do. Beneath the head there hangs a sign that reads, The Sheep, a mage's best friend. Wow. Sheep are a little like cows. I don't, I don't know about that. A ratty old box containing some strange objects. Take a look in there. Um, Master Marcus, what are all these things in this box? Hmm? Oh, that's just old magic stuff. Help yourself. Great. Thanks. Here's a needle and some thread. And here are three small glass vials filled with colored portions, all tightly corked. Hmm. Um, the rest really does seem to be just junk. It's not a lot. A lovely crystal ball on a small stand. Hmm. It looks completely transparent to me. No fog, no burning eyes, and no visions of the future to be found. Um, Master Marcus, can you predict the future with the ball? You what? That's just silly hocus pocus. You need tea leaves or tarot cards for that. Then why do you have the ball? It was a promotional gift. May I have it? If you like. Yonk. A shorn sheep, I think. Sheep are more dangerous than they would have us believe. They're hiding something. That's what Grandad says. Oi, wait! You! You! What's going on over there? Ah! Wow! A super villain! I'll get you if it's the last thing I do. It'll be your turn sooner or later. Hello, Mr. Ah, I'm well. I have to go. If you have. Somewhere down there in the sewers, but I'm much too large. To a vial filled with the red potion. I'm supposed to drink a potion whose effects I can only guess at. On the other hand, hey, what could happen? Hmm, nothing. A blue potion in a little vial. Maybe the second potion will do something. Strange. Again, nothing. Oh, wait. Everything's spinning. Was that alcohol, maybe? I hope not. I'm not allowed to drink alcohol yet. Oh, back to normal. A green potion. I'm only going to take a sip, though. Hey! Everything's getting bigger. Finally, a useful portion. Okay. Okay. I'm almost small. The world isn't big enough yet. Mmm, nothing. It seems this portion only enlarges the world to a certain size and... 
pointless. A crystal ball. I wonder if the showman really can predict the future with it. A crystal ball. There are a total of 16 different fields on the wheel, four colors and four symbols in every possible combination. The chance of guessing the right segment is one in 16. I wouldn't bet my gold on that. An empty cage, I guess. The sign says, Ziggy the invisible pink squirrel may bite. Please stay back. <laughs> Ziggy's doing well, I think. The cage is lined with straw. There are lots of pigeon feathers and... Ugh, well, I'll Let's just take, take one... Take that feather. A cage full of hair. Huh, here's a small sign saying Bertram, the world's fattest hamster. Wow. I don't know if Bertram really is the fattest hamster in the world, but I reckon he's right up there. Hello. Excuse me. Oh, hello. A young gnome. And he's got outstanding manners to boot. What brings you here? My name's Wilbur Weathervin. I'm from the White Ridge Mountains, and I have to speak to the Archmage. Well then, young Wilbur. I'm Willie the Wondrous. Are you the showman Master Marcus told me about? I don't know which showman your Master Marcus told you about, but I am a showman. Willie Wupperman's the name. Some people call me Willie the Wondrous, but I only run my little fun fair on the side. First and foremost, I'm a fortune teller. These cages, what are they for? Oh, the animals used to be part of my fair. But since I started earning my money with fortune-telling, they're just a hobby. Apart from the pigeons, of course. What's with the pigeons? The pigeons deliver my prophecies throughout the land. Why? Well, how shall I put it? Should a prophecy not quite come to pass, then it's better to be far away, don't you think? Is it true that you're very rich? Why do you ask? Do you want to rob me? As a fortune teller, you, you'd have to know if I wanted to rob you, wouldn't you? I like you. Of course I would know. I think... No, you don't want to rob me. What do you want then? I need a lot of gold to be accepted into the mage school. A pile of gold? Uh-huh. Hmm. I do have that much gold here, but it's the top prize from the Wheel of Fortune. I can't just give it to you. Of course not. That would be too easy. Uh, excuse me, but your hamster, Bertram, isn't he a little overweight? Of course. He's the fattest hamster in the world. But isn't the cage just a touch too small for him? No, Bertram likes it cosy, and he doesn't move around all that much. Imagine that. The squirrel's not only invisible, it's also pretty quiet, isn't it? Hmm, perhaps it's sleeping. Yes, perhaps. You're, um, you're absolutely certain there's a squirrel in there. Of course. It's the only invisible pink squirrel in captivity. The squirrel's not... Mm -hmm. Yes, you're... Of course. Can you really predict the future? Of course. People come from all across the land to ask me for advice. And what do they want to know? They want to know, for example, if the price of bread is going to rise. Then I tell them... Yes, the price will rise. Then everyone buys lots of bread as a precaution, and uh, the price really does rise. Fascinating. Or the women want to know what Mad next money. season's color will be. 
So if you say that the ladies will be wearing green next year... Then everyone wears green. You must be an excellent fortune teller, then. The best. Would people pay me so much gold for my prophecies if I wasn't? Could you predict my future for me, please? I'd really appreciate it. I see that I can. Wow, but I don't have any gold. Not a problem. I perceive that today it's going to be on the house. Ooh. Weird. So, come on. Oh. Oh. Hocus pocus. I see the future. Will I be able to master the tasks that lie before me? No, you'd be better off giving up and going home. But then I would have failed. Yes, sir, and I'd have been right. Do you want to know anything else? What will the day bring? I see... Darkness. Uh oh. The day will end in it. Hmm. Even I could have predicted that. Today you are going to play Wheel of Fortune. Do you want to know more? If you can see into the future, tell me what question I'm going to ask next. You. Well. Uh, oh, the connection's broken. I'm sorry. Oh. Your question was perhaps a bit too specific. Mm, thanks just the same. That was very interesting. Ooh, strange. How can I do that without... Yeah, it's true. Wow! The wagon is like a house on wheels. I definitely wouldn't want to get into a punch-up with the pony that pulls this wagon. The chance of guessing the right segment is 1 in 16. Hello. Wilbur. Could I have a go on the Wheel of Fortune? Please? With... How does it work? As you can see, there are four different colors. Red, yellow, green, and blue. You tell me which color the wheel is going to stop on. If you manage to get it right three times in a row, then you win the jackpot. Isn't it rather unlikely that someone would be able to guess the right color three times in a row? If it was easy, then the top prize wouldn't be a sack of gold. Okay. Which color do you want? It'll stop on green. All right then, off we go. Oh, sadly that was completely wrong. Do you want to... But just one more try. Be my girl. Which... It'll stop on blue. All right then, off we go. Oh, do you want? But just be which? I'm just curious. All right. Then. I don't think you're, I don't off think any of them will be correct. There's no RNG here. It's just you have to. We're gonna have to fix the game. Oh, sad. Do you want? I don't think so. As you wish, you are welcome. To Hello. Wilbur. You sure there's nothing wrong with the squirrel? You think so? It looks pretty normal to me.
Maybe the crystal ball from the mage school would work better. Swippity swappity. Flippity flop. You're all right, aren't you? I hope he's all right. It's such an impressive animal, don't you think? How do you know the squirrel is pink? I haven't, but I'm quite sure it's pink. You come across the pink ones more often. Come to think of it, how can it have a color if it's invisible? The zoologists aren't quite sure. Let's get our fortune again. Hello. Wilba. Could you predict my future again, please? I'd be happy to. Home. Home. Hocus poke. Hmm. That looks a lot different than it did last time. Mr. Wapperman? Hello? He looks like he's completely out of it. Wonder was was that an answer to my question? Can you speak as well? Okay. Will I fulfill my mission and give the Archmage the ring? No? But then then it will all be for naught. Hmm. Will something bad happen to me during this adventure? Will, will I be hurt? Am I going to die? Up. Oh. Then tell me. Huh? I must have fallen asleep again. Excuse me. You. You don't know any more? No? About what? Oh, nothing. I think he really saw into the future this time. But he seems to wake up after a few questions. Oh, I have a, the map lets me fast travel. Yay. So he won't go that way. He refuses to. Oh, he's not even here now. No demon? No... I think I've strained the The potion could help get me into the sewer. Okay. So I have to somehow... Now I can write anything. Any Okay. I have to somehow get rid of those bars and then I can get in, maybe. I'm almost small enough to get... Pointless.
Hello. Wilbur. Could you provide? Oh. He's in a trance. I think I can. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> if Mr. Wupperman always wakes up after a few questions, I'd have to carefully consider exactly what I want to ask him. I can simply ask you questions and you won't lie to me, right? Really? Amazing. Does that really count as a question? Really? Could you buy? Oh. Let's cycle through these uh, He's in questions. He woke up after five questions, so that means I'll have to find out the right three colors in just five questions. Is it blue? Is it green? Is it blue? Is it blue or red? So it's yellow. Is it blue? What's wrong with me? Oh, it... Could you buy... Oh. Let's try this again. Let's keep doing it. He's in a trunk. Is it green or... Is it yellow? Is it blue? Is it green? Is it yellow? What's wrong? Oh, it, it. Could you predict? I I'm trying to figure this out still. He's in a trunk. Is it red? Is it yellow? Is it green? Is it red? Is it red? What's wrong with... Okay. So... Could we play... We can play two more. It'll stop on red. All right then. Off we go. Outstanding. You guessed right. So on we go. Which? I said it was yellow or red. It'll stop. All so I'm gonna right. Go with yellow. Unbelievable! Not really. Does it have... Not quite. Oh. Which... It'll stop on red. All right. What? This doesn't seem right. Oh. What? Do you want... I... As you... You are... But I get, but it was red, yellow, red, and then red. What the f- what? They got it wrong. Hello. Wilbur. Is that a glitch? What can I do? Could you hide be- oh. He's in a truck. Is it red? Is it blue? Is it red or green? Let's go to the next. Oh, that's what it was. So it was green. Is it yellow? 
Is it blue? What? Okay, that was not a very good turn. Try it again. Oh, Could you provide? Oh. He's in a. Tr Is it red? Is it blue? Is it red or? That's we have green. Let's go. Is it blue or? Is it green? What's wrong? Um. Oh. Could you provide? Oh. He's in a trunk. Is it blue or yeah? Alright, so it's... Is it let yellow? me ask if it's yellow. Okay, so it's yellow. Let's go to the... Is it blue? Yellow, blue... Let's go to the next... Is it green? Yellow, blue... Is it yellow? Yellow, blue, yellow. What's wrong with... All right, this better work this time. Oh, wait. could we play? We can play. Which? It'll stop. Oh. Outstand. So, which? All right. Unbel Not real. Not. Oh. Which? It'll stop. All right then. It better work. Off we go. Better work. Okay, it's gonna work. I... I don't believe it. Uh, not that good at all. Exactly. Certainly not as well as you do. Do I get my sack of gold now? But of course. Oh, thanks ever so much. <laughs> Ta-da. Hello, Miss. Ah, you. I'm well. I tried to get into the sewers, but I'm too big. <laughs> I bet you haven't been able to say that too many times. I've got something. It's a shrinking ring. That might help. What do you mean? Fa oh, come on. And even if your life was depending on that ring, I still wouldn't give it to you. You know what? Just keep the ring. I can look for another way to get into this. I'm sure something will come to me over the next couple of days or weeks. You won't have any problems dealing with the King of Thieves until then, will you? Hmm, right then. Here. Yeah. But now I'm going to kill that rodent. What? That's not the reed. You got that reed incorrectly. I want to buy something. What? I need some magically treated cloth. About a roll. Yep, I've got that here. That's two gold per thigh. A thigh? A, uh, a good two dwarf's feet, or one and a half minor door inches. I see, and how many thighs to the roll? About the one and a quarter sea stone rods. That's about two and a half fathoms, right? That should do it. No problem. I have a pile of gold here. Really? Excellent! Because that's just about what a roll costs these days. But that's just a few thighs. Two gold per thigh is the net price, the rest is taxes. But. But I need that gold to pay my tuition fees at the mage school. You're much better off investing your gold in magically treated cloth. You're never going to become a mage anyway. Oh yes, I will. And at any rate, you're not getting this pile of gold. Hello, Mr. Ah, I, I... Well... I have to... If you... Let's see if it works. 
Needs must. Oh. Okay. Hopefully I won't grow when we're in the sewers. Oof. That smell is not exactly inspiring. I wonder where that... That's far and no further. Who are you and what do you want? My name is Wilbur Weathervin. I'm a powerful mage. Almost. Horeden Wilbur. How can I help you? I watched you escape from the merchant. Very impressive. Thank you. But I think the merchant sees it differently. I thought you looked like a real hero. Although, although you're nothing but a thief. That is undeniable. I've robbed the merchant many times. And I do it again. Why do you do it? Why do you steal? Perhaps I'm just greedy. Have a look around. I love the luxury. I don't believe that. If I were to say to you that I have to look after my family and friends, huh? that there's not enough food left for us rats since the inhabitants fled, would that change anything? No. I would still be a thief. But a likable one. But you have to steal. Can't you find some other way to get food? How? Cultivate cereals down here and then bake bread? We're rats. We haven't got sensible thumbs. You could leave the city. There's more than enough to eat growing in the fields and woods. I would go, but how should I get the others out there? Some of them are so weak they are walking on all fours. I can't leave anyone behind. Who lives down here besides yourself? Oh, lots of interesting people. My family and all the other remaining rat families, of course. Uncle Juan joined us recently. He used to have a good life in a dwarf bastion, but then a wild robot savagely attacked him. Oh, how, uh, terrible. The poor hero still wakes up screaming. But apart from us rats, there are a few slime monsters, giant spiders, a couple of skeletons. All the stuff that young adventurers expect to find in a sewer. Do a lot of people come down here? Not so much recently. In the past, when the town was more lively, there was always adventurers coming here on the strangest of missions. It was almost as if there was someone standing up there, sending the newbies down the sewer in droves. Crazy. MMO jokes. I'm on a mission from the merchant. I'm... Oh, yes? What's the old skinflint going to give you for that? Well, I can choose three things from amongst his wares. That means you're hunting me for your own personal profit. You're a bounty hunter, Wilbur Weathervane. No, 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 no. I'm on an important mission, and I need the merchant's help to accomplish it. You should choose your friends more wisely, Wilbur. I'm certainly not going to let myself get caught just so your merchant can have his revenge. But I have to bring the merchant your mask, otherwise he won't help me. And then I won't get accepted into the mage school. Which means I'll never be a powerful mage. Which means I won't be able to see the archmage. Which means I won't be able to give him the ring, which means I'll have failed. Quite complicated, no? You should see my quest log. In any case, I'm supposed to take you out and then give the For merchant a date. your mask. Do you want do you want to kill me? No. Could you kill me? That's another no. Then you should come up with another plan. But if I were to get you enough food so that all of you could eat your fill, would you then be able to leave the city? Sure, but where are you going to find all that food? Are you going to steal it? Is it theft if you take some bread for a family of starving rats? Yes, but we would never forget it. Us rats can help you, you know. You could be of help? If you want to be a mage, you've still got lots of work ahead of you. And you'll be surprised what you can find down here in the sewer. We can get you lots of things you won't find anywhere else. <clears throat> would you do that? Of course. That's the deal. You get us something to eat and make it a generous portion. And in return, we'll help you become a mage. But I still need your mask. Sorry. Okay. If you insist, then I'll give you my mask too. But first, you must bring us the promised food. No problem. I hope. I need to get some... If you want to draw up a new plan of action... That's disgusting sewer slime. And to top it off, it's moldy too. Hopefully I'll never be forced to touch it. How else? 
Those are disgusting things. I'm not getting any close. We gnomes live below Earth ourselves, but this isn't doing anything for me. The other rats will be back there somewhere, lonely and hungry. Okay. We've got some I am now slime for some reason. Actually, there is a sandwich. The sandwich would be just right for the rats, but I can't just take it from his basket. Hello, Mr. Shieldhand. Hello, Wilbur. According to Master Marcus, I really do have the potential to become a mage. Marcus is teaching again? Yes, and he wants me to be his pupil. I can imagine that. I just have to bring him a magic wand and a mage's robe. And what else? Well, that and a pile of gold. There you go. He just wants to rip you off, believe me. You can't become a mage. You'll see. Um, Mr. Shieldhand, could you maybe give me a little of your giant sandwich? Nope. Are you sure? Why should I? It's going to be a long day and I'll still need something to snack on for my next break. Could I maybe buy the sandwich from you? No. You can't eat gold. There's some truth in that. And how about if we compete for the sandwich in a thrilling game, Mano y Nomo? Hmm. What kind of game? Um, you give me a number between one and a hundred, and if you're wrong, I get the sandwich. And what do I get if I'm spot on? Maybe two sandwiches. Hmm. No, I'm not all that hungry. And to be honest, I find your game pretty stupid too. Then you suggest a better one. Well, there's only one thing. A duel to the death. Um, it's just a sandwich. A deck of cards? Of course. What are you thinking of then? And if I win, I get the sandwich? Sure, why not? I have never lost. I'm Seastone's all-time unbeaten champion in every class. How does this game work? Don't you know Master of Dragon Slayer's Defender? Oh, really? Well, okay. I'll show you. We've both got a stack of cards. Choose ten from your pile. That's your deck. You should see that you've got three red, four yellow, and two green. Later. But you've also got a specialism in polearm weapons and... But only if your magic is light-based, with fire magic or earth magic. And those are the rules. All right. But it seems like you don't stand a chance of winning unless you have very good cards. That's not a problem. I've got very good ones. So, are we going to play again? Okay. Then let's play a round. But I don't have any cards. I know. I'll lend you some. Of course, I can't give you the impossibly good cards. They're too valuable. I'm afraid you're going to have to put up with the not such Magic, good cards. Magic, the gathering All right. jokes. Yeah, boo! I'm the unbeaten champion! Yes! I could beat him. It's just my cards. How will we defeat him? You'll I'm have to find out oh, yeah. on the next episode. So grab a snack and we'll be right back.